Welcome to Report for Dugger Mountain for part two of our discussion with David Thrussell. It's April 2024 and we're still alive, believe it or not. We survived COVID. <laughs> Hang on, that? David, we're, we're vaccinated, <laughs> mate. How did we survive? <laughs> Stick around and listen. All right, we're here with David uh, for your part two of our discussion. So go ahead. What right, would you well, very interesting. I think point. I think I mentioned uh, Zionism, mate. But hold on, hold on. I got hold away with thought. it. Though. Hold that thought. I think what you were getting to just near the end there yep. was very interesting. Yep. You were talking about this group. I've heard vague rumours about it, but I don't Z600. know much about it. Six hundred. Yep. Right. I didn't yep. know much about it. Um, all I saw in the press was discussions of whether it was a good idea or a bad idea. Yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah. find out any other information about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was very interesting. Um, but see, that's a very interesting point. Yep. Divide and rule. Yeah. It's always divide and rule. Yeah. Okay. The, the so-called left and the so-called right. I think they're both traps. Okay. I consider myself unaffiliated. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. But the, the greatest danger for the controllers, for the elite controllers, the cabal, yeah, the globalists, together, yeah. mm -hmm. is that people realise that they have far more in common That's than, right. than what they think. Well, I invited Clementine Ford on Sam Newman's show. You know what I mean? I thought this would be great. Which, which, which I, would be amusing. You know. I think strategically, it's absolutely the right thing to do. Exactly. Of Conversation. Course. This is what we Sam need. Conversation. was into it. But Clementine's not into it. So there you go. Well, it's she's. A, well, she. I don't. I can't. She'd really probably, speak get for her. She she'd probably get cancelled. Yeah, she probably get cancelled. Yeah, she probably would. No, yeah. because it's the last thing they want, yeah, isn't yeah. it? You know, People supposedly these mortal enemies of yeah. each other going. Oh, actually, we've got yeah. a lot in common. That's right. You know, yeah. you know we don't want hospitals bombed. No. We don't want babies murdered. No. Actually, we want our kids just to grow up okay and just go about your own stuff unmolested and yeah. you know, have yeah. an all right life yeah. and, and whatever. Speaking of that, you know, we've got P Diddy coming down the. Uh, you know, you know, you, it seems to be the latest. They call you in the Black Epstein, you know. I mean, you know, he's got um, uh, human trafficking. It looks like his neighbour came out and said, yeah, there's all these underage people going in there. And obviously Candace Owens, of course, got the... Uh, the, the she got canned from the Daily... Um, the, what's it was called the Daily Wire. Daily Wire, which was uh, Ben Shapiro's pro-Zionist um, network. And she obviously uh, stood up for Palestinians. And bye-bye. Well, Daily Wire, or as, as I call it, the Daily, Daily Mossad. You yes, know, Daily Mossad. Take choice, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know much about the... Diddy thing, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I haven't yeah, followed yeah. that at all. Well, I've looked into it, but basically it appears as if, and look, this is what we all knew. I mean, when they shut down Epstein Island, and there'd be people who said it, you know, look, do you really think that's the only island? You know what I mean? Like, do you really think that's the only operation like this? And the whole Pizzagate thing was that they'd found something similar to Epstein that was operating out of Washington, D.C. Now, whether it was operating directly from that pizza shop or was the people involved, because this guy who owned that pizza shop had a whole bunch of properties. As, as None the, of which were investigated. As the saying always goes, don't believe something until it's officially denied. Exactly, yeah. You know? yeah. So when the first thing you hear yep. in the mainstream media is the denial, oh, that's debunked, yep. oh, that yep. never yep. happened, you know that there's some smoke yep. and there's a fire. And you saw that uh, Francis Key Bridge fell down. It was pretty unusual, you know. You see that? Odd. I don't have a strong opinion about it, yep. but yep. definitely odd. Inside you know? job, we, we don't know yet. Well, the thing is... <laughs> We live in such odd times, and, and is this just an artifact of the fact that we're surrounded by media? Yep. I don't know that everyone's plugged in twenty four seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there seems to be this this sort of torrent, this deluge of weirdness around the clock, and weird things can happen. And two hours later, you've forgotten because the next thing comes down the pipe. Yeah, you know? yeah. Now, is that is that a sort of media fog situation? You know, because I do think, and I've said this before, but I'll say it again, I do think the fact that we're all embedded in this sort of 24-7 media kind of culture. Yep, yep. And obviously everyone's is, connected through their phones. Well, but. yes, and, it's, and I think it's a disaster for mm -hmm. us as a, as a people, mm -hmm. and it's a great way to manipulate the public and to control the public mind. And, I mean, I've mentioned this vaguely in the past, but I think it's a really interesting point. I've noticed, but I don't think a lot of people have noticed. Now, you know um, Project MK Ultra, you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, 50s yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. 60s CIA. Yeah, it's kind of like trauma. involving trauma and stuff, yeah. yeah all that yeah, sort of stuff. Yeah. And it's always spicy. Yeah, I've got a couple of books and, on it, yeah. And all that sort of, that's exactly right. Fascinating. Exactly in the same era, from the same people, you know, mm. Department of Defense, yep, DARPA, yep. CIA, you get the birth of the internet. Yeah. Right? Yep, yep. Okay, so my theory is, okay, that, yeah, they tried... You know, drugging up people and filming prostitutes with people and mm. LSD and blah, 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 and whatever, mind control and blah, yep. blah, blah, whatever. But they realised that was all, it was all a bit too hands-on and it wasn't really perfect for manipulating big amounts of people. Yep. But there was this other thing that they were working on, which developed into the internet, yep. which was far better at manipulating masses and masses of people. Well, I think know? the way that, you know, 
this, this technology, I'm shooting this on my iPhone today. So, you know, but like, I think, you know, obviously young people have access to all this stuff now. And I think, you know, you see, you know, you hear of the ways that various apps are like feeding them, you know, stuff about their, you know, their weight so they become anorexic. It's like this weird evil algorithms are feeding them back negative materials. They're obviously also sexualizing them. They're filling it with like LGBT and transgender propaganda. It's being fed to young people. It's like, you know, which is a kind of like NK Ultra almost writ large. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Because they use these devices as kind of trauma machines. And they get the people young because most parents... And most parents don't know what their kids are looking at. Yeah. And God knows what they are. Yeah, absolutely. I, look, I absolutely agree. I, and I, I think your term, you know, trauma mind control machines yep. writ large is a pretty good term, really. It's NK <laughs> Ultra on a mass Train. scale. That's on, what it is. On a sense yeah. of unimaginable scale. Yeah, so while feeding them war footage. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. I would sometimes get war footage from Ukraine and it was like dead Ukrainians like having their faces eaten off by animals. And I go, how the hell did I just get that? You know sure. what I mean? Yeah, and I'm yeah. an adult who's like seen a yeah. lot of terrible things, yeah, yeah. you know, online or in movies or whatever. Yeah, so yeah. like, you know, God knows what that what children make of that. You know, yeah, yeah. suddenly. Yeah. And I think the point is really interesting. This sort of trauma-based mind control. Yep. There were projects called there. I think there was one called Project Monarch. Monarch. Yep. Monarch. Which was, which was about traumatizing children and developing multiple personalities in them. Yep. You know, and this is why you're seeing the they them. You know what I mean? Unbelievable, isn't it? It just makes sense. Are we, are we on to something or what, mate? You know, well, we should have a show on the ABC if they're with us. <laughs> they won't have They us. won't, though. Well, they won't. So, um, you can get Clem Ford on, Sam Newman, it'd be great. You know, it'd be a real discussion. I, look, at, but, well, I, no, look, honestly, this is what we're missing, is yeah. absolute discussion know, between people who have different points of view. Well, and this is exactly what they don't want. Isn't that so what we do? this is why everyone is locked into their echo chambers, yeah, 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 yeah. screaming this crazy bullshit at each other. And across the community, across yeah. society, there's no broader discussion happening. No, exactly. And that's it's one of the a things disaster, that... and I think it's a deliberate disaster. It is. And I think, you know, that was the one thing that I really noticed the last 30 years. Because in the 80s, you would watch a show and you would have people of radically different perspectives mm-hmm. talking. Mm-hmm. And I just figured that was normal and would be around forever. Yeah. But it's not. I mean, every now and then you might get the odd piece from Four Corners or something. You know, there was a piece that Four Corners did when they were embedded with um, Russian soldiers where it pretty much just spoke the Russian perspective with only a few, um, you know, basically, oh, that's all wrong and it's all, all going to be pro. So, you know, occasionally they had the editorial guy. But really, in reading between the lines, it was you were, you were hearing the Russian perspective on it. And, uh, you know, that was interesting. And I thought, wow, that was actually a full corners I liked. And there was one also about Bibi that was incredibly critical recently, which I haven't seen. So anyway, every now and then. Yeah, but surely that's just the bait. You know, they throw you the bait, yep, the yep. odd little thing yeah, that, yep. that steps out of the Overton window just to validate all the other garbage that they're pumping in the air. The weird thing yeah. about the whole Israel and Gaza thing is I don't know any left-wing people that support Israel. I know some right-wing people who are pro-Zionist, um, you know, because of, like, you know, Fox News uh, is, is pro-Zionist, and so is obviously the Daily uh, Mossad, sorry, the Daily New Wire. And, um, you know, like, they they have obviously managed to at least get a fraction or, or an element of the right-wing that is pro-Israel. But I don't know any left-wing people. But, I mean, but obviously there are yeah. some. And isn't the basic theory, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. Yeah. of this democracy thing yeah. is that it represents the will of the people. Well, yeah. I can tell you now, despite all the ma- man- manipulations over the years and all the mm-hmm. propaganda, the vast bulk of the people do not, left to their own devices, do not like the idea of murdering babies no. and bombing hospitals, bombing hospitals and so. killing children yeah. and all these sort of things. Okay? And, and, then, yes, and then, and when, and yes. when that's criticised, you're hiding behind, uh, you're saying, oh, we're the victims because of World War II, something happened 80 fucking no, years but ago. I, I'm going broader on this. Way broader. Because, way broader, because you know, this democracy project, which I'm just going to call it, it's a complete fraud, okay? Mm-hmm. We well, have to start having honest conversations about this. Mm-hmm. All the elections are rigged. They've been rigged for forever, I suppose. What about the yes, no vote? We won that one. Well, I think they just handed that over because they knew it was going to look too suspect. That was too. It was, yeah. There were too many people, I think, supported no. Yeah. You know, but the, the idea of this democracy project is it's meant to represent the will of the people. Yeah. And yet, you see, you have so many examples. In fact, you have example after example after example where the will of the people is not represented mm-hmm. in politics. That is true. That is you know? true. Yeah. And, that's tells and obviously, you, even when it is, even when you get a Trump, you still get a Trump that's essentially it's a as pro-Israel as you can get. I mean, you know, if he's so pro-America and pro-America first, why is he bowing down to Israel the way he does? So, you know, anyway, maybe we'll continue it in part three.